here we go. Actually, today I'm going to try to go into town because I have an idea that um, it's actually not very busy. Well, we'll see. I don't know if it's busy or not. Um, today I've got my big EOS 1 and with my telephoto on it, 70 to 210. So we'll try to see if we can get some interesting shots of the new flight path over Tokyo. Actually goes right over the city and right over Shinjuku. It's real loud. It's real noisy. People are probably not so happy, but it'll make flying into Tokyo much better than it has been in the past. So we'll see how that goes. But this camera, I really like this camera. Um, I think it's super easy to use. Uh, it's got the EF lenses on it, so this is autofocus, uh, ultrasonic. And you just basically point it, shoot. But I get awesome results. I actually have had so much fun this year shooting this camera. And I bought it mainly just to do um, a little trip to America. And I wanted something that I wasn't afraid of scratching up and um, maybe even getting stolen out of the car or something. I don't know. I picked it up for pretty cheap. I think the body was like 60 bucks. And then this lens was probably about the same amount. And I've gotten some surprising results from this lens. So anyways, we're gonna take a turn here and go down to the station. It's gonna be first in a while. We'll see how it goes. It's so empty in here, especially because today is a national holiday and normally, like, this would be so busy. It's so nice out, but actually, I feel kind of safe, which is funny. I just saw my first plane fly over, so that's kind of what I'm looking for. Maybe trying to get some shots of those flying over this part of the city. We'll see. I think I've shot this building a million times already, but I just like that crack where you can see the tall gel behind it. Yeah, this is one of my favorite buildings in Shinjuku. I just like how it kind of curves out at the bottom. than my neighborhood which is funny I mean it's kind of not funny actually it's kind of too bad <laughs> oh there we go now the planes seem to be coming in which is good um, but it's hard to get a shot with all the buildings I don't know what I was thinking but yeah it's fun I like this shot 
I'm gonna wait for the bus to get out of the way. There's a bell tower really far in the distance in front of this building, and then trees are illuminated. It looks nice. I'm gonna take a shot. Anybody recognize this? Corporate park art art park corporate what's new? You know, it's really nice that there's nobody out here because you can shoot a lot of stuff that normally there'd be a lot of people standing in front of these strange sculpture things. I mean, this is usually really busy. Like, there's a lot of stuff out here I didn't notice before. Like, look at this bush. Look, it's so smooth and round. Yeah, it's cool. These planes are really hard to take photos of. You know, one of my big influences is Greg Ger Ger Gerard. Hope I said that right. Uh, I love his images of the Hong Kong airports and all the planes he took pictures of. But obviously, I don't have that kind of angle of approach to get them close to the runway. I'm shooting like straight up from the ground. I'm only gonna get the bottom angle of these planes, but um, it's fun challenge. It's really difficult though. <laughs> I want to change up the film a little bit. It's getting a little darker sun setting. Actually it just goes. There's actually no reason. I'm pretty easy to load. And There we go. I think maybe I got some shots of some of these guys coming in. Uh, I saw one kind of open its landing gear as it was flying over the space in the sky. And so that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you know. I'm glad I'm using this camera to do this, but yeah, it's such a peaceful day out here, I'm really surprised.